community activities are so important in which individuals can be able to show what they have available for exhibition and ability to give themselves self-esteem in relationship to understanding just how valuable the work that they do truly is. Here in Irvington, Mayor Wayne Smith has been very encouraged to look at options for individuals who have realizations of wanting to expand their entrepreneurial involvement and also have an audience in which they can show off their talents. We're here now with Omega Allen, who is a resident in our community, who also is an educator and has self-published a number of different books, but is an artist. And as an artist, she will be making a presentation in the month of May, on May the 30th, here in the township of Irvington at One Civic Square. We'd like to take the opportunity to thank you very much for sharing your artwork with us and giving us an opportunity to share you with our viewers. Thank Welcome. Thank you very much. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Let's talk about the work that you have been able to produce. How did it begin? Well, I've always loved art and I love working with children. Um, I've been a fond of portraits, children's portraits, adults' portraits, and landscapes. So last year I was motivated to self-publish two children's books. Um, I work with students with autism, so I wanted, to, I wanted it to be books for children of all ages and all abilities where they can enjoy it. And identifying to it in an area that can be very easy to uh, be able to use, the opportunity uh, to produce it is something that a number of people have very little knowledge of doing. Why don't you share with us your experience? Well, my experience with self-publishing books started with a co-worker many years ago that loved to write poems. And I loved drawing, so the idea came, why not combine our talents together? and publish a book. And then that was the start of our book called um, Poetry Through Children. And um, later on, you know, I thought about it as an educator. I also like to write and I also like to combine my writings with illustrating whatever um, poems or thoughts that come to me. And that inspired me to create a story called In the Park I Can. Mm -hmm. um, I went to a different cities, looked at different parks, and I got inspired of creating, you know, everyday sceneries, park sceneries for children um, that are enjoying the park or different things such as watching the birds mm. in the park, the different changing in the seasons, fall, winter. And that's where that idea of that book came. And then my book, Little Poems, came from inspirations of different types of illustrations that I've created in the past. Thinking about the idea of just how well partnerships can be effective, understanding exactly what your plan is, is also critical. The knowledge of being able to prepare yourself in terms of coming up with the concept and then a method in which it would have a lesson learned is incredible. Do you think that it's attributed to your growing in being an educator? Definitely. Um, creating the, the books is combining two of my passions. I'm a very passionate artist. I love to illustrate. I love um, the excitement and happiness my work brings to others. And I love to teach. I, um, I'm combining education and art when I create a book. And I discovered there are many ways for others to publish books, self-publishing companies online, such as the one that I worked with called Exilbris. So I think definitely my growth and experience enabled me to create these books. The credibility of her work is very extensive and in understanding exactly uh, the fact that from where you have really prepared yourself to get to the point where you are now, um, is something that pretty much transpired from an occurrence. Why don't you share with us the story behind how you got to the point of making the exhibition? Well, this ex the upcoming exhibition, this mm -hmm. exhibition that's coming up Saturday, May 31st, I was inspired by Mayor Wayne Smith. Mm. I've never had an art exhibition. I've been painting for so many years. I've never had 
the ability to celebrate the art that I do. And I met Mayor Wayne Smith in McDonald's with my son, taking a break from doing laundry. And I was just fascinated with the fact that the mayor was at McDonald's to have coffee with residents. Coming from New York City, imagining it's just unthinkable to think that the mayor of New York City will sit down with me at McDonald's and want to know what's going on with me or if I have any concerns. And one of the concerns I brought to Mayor Wayne Smith is that as a resident of Irvington, how can I market myself? This is the talent that I have. This is what I love to do. I'm commuting. I'm a mother. I'm commuting from New Jersey to New York every day. I would like to find a way how to make my own right here in Irvington. And he said to me, well, we could set up an art exhibition for you at Town Hall. Mm -hmm. And at first, I was very surprised. I was wondering, is he really serious? I said, I also pub self-publish books. Mm -hmm. um, how can you help me with that? And then he said to me, well, we could set up something where we do a book signing. And um, I was excited. And I didn't know how real he took me until he gave me his cell phone number. He called me, and he set up an appointment for this to happen. And I'm very excited, and I'm very grateful to have a mayor that's so down to earth. Mm. That's interesting that you would say that because, uh, you know, it's just incredible how much work he does put into providing support for individuals that would bring their concerns to him. And unfortunately, he is an individual, and he can't be everywhere. But this open door policy has been evident of the true nature in which he has uh, really put the kind of concern as being the top leader in the community uh, before uh, politics, as we would say. Yes. And uh, we're very uh, happy about this occasion. Now, uh, as a local Irvington artist, why don't you explain to us exactly what you will be preparing for your exhibition? For my exhibition, I'll be preparing um, a series of artwork that everyone will be able to relate to. Um, artwork of children that mothers will be able to relate to. Um, artwork, uh, like I have a portrait of my mother when she was my age. Artwork that would make people feel, that would portray people, especially people of color, in a light that um, not too many places have seen sophisticated and um, good positions, such as the mayor's portrait, um, elegance, and just artwork of um, special events, such as the graduation that I've done, which is a conversation piece. Everyone knows the joy that a graduation brings. Sometimes it's hard to think that you will actually make it to that goal mm. to get that career. Um, um, artwork that mothers can relate to, such as the one where I painted my two-month-old son, mm -hmm. or my best friend. Everyone has a best friend. I did my neighbor's portrait because um, I could feel the compassion she has when she speaks to me. So she motivates me and she inspires me. Well, that's beautiful, and we're certainly going to be looking forward to helping to support this model of representation in regard to uh, giving residents an opportunity to really have this relationship that is going to really magnify your effort of being able to show the type of skill and the type of talent that you have to offer. We're very happy about being able to support this. We Care Partners, which is my program, is a public awareness community resource. And the mayor has adequately um, recommended you to us so that we can be able to do as much as we can to inform and invite our community be a part of participating in this effort. Again, that art exhibition and book signing will be held on Saturday, May the 31st at 1 Civic Square in Irvington, New Jersey from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And it will be sponsored by Mayor Wayne Smith and um, the author of Mega Allen. Ms. Allen, we're so happy that you have become a part of our involvement of helping to support entrepreneurs and artists in our community and we're certainly going to be looking forward to seeing a successful experience in this opportunity. Thank you and I'm so excited and I'm so happy to be in Irvington to see that there's so much opportunity here and like I said for the mayor to meet me in McDonald's and to take my idea seriously I'm very grateful for the opportunity to have this event at City Hall.